there! Today is another special food holiday, but what is it? Hmm. I know, it is Apple Dumpling Day. Oh yeah, so on to another beautiful and delicious recipe. So first you need to take an apple, slice it up into small slices, like so. Then you want to sprinkle cinnamon, roasted cigon cinnamon in my part, brown sugar, and regular sugar if you have it. Combine that up about a tablespoon of each and mix it up until it's perfectly mashed all together. Now use two to four raw flour tortillas. Spread butter all over the tortillas so they're nice and coated all the way to the edges. And then put just a couple of your apple coated slices onto the tortilla. Simple enough, right? And it looks good already. So, but we're gonna fold up the tortillas corner by corner into like little purses. Look how cute! Until they are nicely folded and pressed into a little dumpling shape. Oh! Then you're gonna coat them with egg whites to seal the deal. And so they're gonna nicely brown up and you coat it with sugar on top and a little bit of cinnamon. <sighs> Everything's better with a little bit more sugar and cinnamon. Then you're gonna take a baking sheet, spray it with non-sticking cooking spray, and you're going to place your cute little dumplings on top of the baking sheet. And then you're going to put it in the oven for 375 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're light and golden brown. Now I'll carefully remove those babies, put them on a plate, while they're still warm. <sighs> Can you smell them? Well, it gets even better if you put honey on top and a little melted butter to just seal the deal and have a nice glaze that you will enjoy and appreciate and make it your experience that much more flavorful. So what are you waiting for? Grab a fork, grab a knife, dig in, or just take the whole thing and just eat it. Go, get it. Yes, and this is Jenny Approved. Oh, you're still here. Yes, I am enjoying this and I will continue to. And I wish you have a flavorful apple dumpling day. And don't forget, check out more recipes and vlogs at foodaday.com.